In the uh, wind and solar video, we were talking about Ohm's law. So, because it's a fairly miserable day outside, and even the wood smoke from the stove is not a hurry to get outside, we'll uh, take advantage of the time and complete this video. If you were running a wind and solar system that involves batteries, there's always a, a balancing of capacity, the load, and how much you're generating. So what we're going to do is a little experiment. We have a 12 volt battery here. Out of the positive goes through this meter and the meter set are to record amps. So we'll just switch it on. Out the other side of the meter through this bulb which is a 21 watt indicator bulb and then it goes back to the negative. So if you want to know how much current, that's amps, uh, this bulb draws, we can either test it or we can calculate it. Here's the calculation. Watts divided by volts equals amps. So we'll just do that. Calculator here, switch it on. 21, that's the watts, divided by 12.6 for the battery equals, that's wrong, 21 divided by 12.6 equals, there we go, 1.6. So let's see what happens. So it should draw 1.6 amps. Contact. 1.66 and that will change as the bulb wears up, warms up the resistance changes. Right, I'll just switch that off so it doesn't burn the eyes out. Switch that off. So as you can see the reality matches the calculations with a very narrow parameter. If you wanted to work this in a different way You could have, if you had the volts and the amps, you could work out what the watts are. There's a further thing that watts is just a description of consumption in a nanosecond, a, an instant. If you want to add time into that, you have to have watts times time. And the time can be calibrated in seconds, hours, days, etc. And whatever the calibration for time is, you get the watt hours, watt minutes, watt seconds. This is how your standard electricity uh, meter works because it works in kilowatt hours. And of course a kilowatt is a thousand watts. So talking about batteries and the consumption, this battery here says on the top it's 40 amp hours. So that means that you could run a 1 amp load for 40 hours from fully charged and then the battery would be dead flat. But flattening batteries, even if they're deep cycle batteries, is a serious no-no. Batteries, although they're designed to be cycled in some cases, still don't like it, it still wears them out. So if you get good deep cycle batteries and don't cycle them deeply, they'll last a lot longer. To that aim, the general rule is never discharge a battery below 50% of its capacity. So from fully charged to 50% of its capacity, we can draw 20 amps out of this battery Let's say, for instance, we have a 200 watt load. So 200 divided by 12.5 equals 16. So therefore, 
a 200 watt 200 watt load would draw 16 amp hours out of this battery so if half the capacity is 20 divided by 16 equals one and a quarter hours and you wouldn't want to go any further than that before charging it up to avoid harm always use low voltage in any experiments